In this video, we're going to take a look at adding and subtracting rational expressions with different polynomial denominators. We know to add and subtract fractions, we need to first identify the least common denominator, but to do that, we must know the factors of the denominator. This implies we need to factor each denominator. Here we have 6 over 8a plus 4 plus 3a over 8. That left denominator can be factored with a GCF of 4, leaving behind 2a plus 1. We can see for our LCD, we have a factor of 4 and 8, the LCD there is 8, and also a factor of 2a plus 1. We will then multiply each fraction by what it's missing. We already have 2a plus 1 in the first fraction, so we need to just multiply by 2, to get the 8 we want. 6 times 2 is 12, over 8 times 2a plus 1. Plus, the second fraction in the denominator is missing the 2a plus 1. So we'll multiply by 2a plus 1 in both the numerator and denominator. Distributing gives us 6a squared plus 3a over the common denominator of 8 times 2a plus 1. We finally have a common denominator of 8 times 2a plus 1, so we simply have to add the numerators. With no like terms, we have 6a squared plus 3a plus 12. Before we call this our final answer, we want to check to see if it reduces. The numerator we see has a common factor of 3, leaving behind 2a squared plus a plus 4 over our denominator of 8 times 2a plus 1. Normally, we would want to factor the 2a squared plus a plus 4. However, a quick check of the possible factors shows us that that will not factor. It is prime. No reducing available, we'll call this our final solution. Let's take a look at another example where we're asked to subtract fractions by finding the LCD and building up to that LCD. Recall with subtraction, we need to change it to an addition problem by adding the opposite of the numerator. We add the opposite of x is negative x, and the opposite of 1 is negative 1. Now we're ready to find the LCD by identifying the factors of our denominators. The first denominator doesn't factor, but the second one, multiplying to 12 and adding to negative 7, will factor with the negative 4 and negative 3. We have a 1 in front of the x squared, so we can jump right to the factors of x minus 4, x minus 3. In the LCD, then, we see we have an x minus 4, we don't need to list it twice, and an x minus 3. Multiplying by missing factors, then, we see the first fraction already has the x minus 4. It's missing the x minus 3 in the numerator and denominator. Foiling out, we get x squared plus x minus 3x minus 3 over the common denominator of x minus 4, x minus 3, plus the second fraction we see already has both the factors we need. So we'll keep it the same with a negative x and a negative 1 over our common denominator of x minus 4, x minus 3. Because we have a common denominator of x minus 4, x minus 3, we simply have to combine like terms in the numerator, x squared plus x minus 3x minus x, is negative 3x, and negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Trying to factor that numerator to see if we can reduce, multiplying to negative 4 and adding to negative 3 is negative 4 and positive 1. And because there's a 1 in front of x squared, we have x minus 4, x plus 1, over x minus 4, x minus 3. We see the x minus 4 is dividing out, and we have our final answer of x plus 1 over x minus 3. And we are finished.